In celebration of the Town of Versailles Bicentennial, Main Street Versailles proudly presents Our Town's History. John Hunt Morgan from Lexington, Kentucky, was a Confederate cavalry commander during the American Civil War. He was well known for his raids. The Great Raid took place in the summer of 1863. Morgan was given permission by his superior, General Braxton Bragg, to conduct his Great Raid into Kentucky and Tennessee only and to not cross the Ohio River. However, Morgan had other ideas. The Great Raid began in Sparta, Tennessee. At the Ohio River, Morgan crossed the river from Brandenburg, Kentucky, to Mockport, Indiana. Once Morgan crossed the river, Indiana Governor Oliver P. Morton called on Hoosiers to fight against this invasion. Morgan continued north, engaging the local militia at Corridon, which is considered the only Civil War battle to take place in Indiana. After being stopped at Vernon, Morgan turned south and east through DuPont and present-day Jefferson Proving Ground Big Oaks Natural Wildlife Preserve. Once on the old Plank Road, which is present-day U.S. Highway 421, he divided his troops. He sent one detachment north on Michigan Road toward New Marion and Holton, Morgan arrived in Versailles on Sunday afternoon, July 12, 1863, with Union Commander Edward Hobson and his troops in hot pursuit. We do know that once Morgan reached Versailles, there were several home guards ready to protect their town. Once reaching town, Morgan set up a cannon on the corner of Adams and Water Streets aimed at the newly constructed county courthouse of which the citizens showed great pride. The local home guard wisely surrendered and had their few weapons broken over the corner of the courthouse. The raiders were always looking for funds. The county or town treasury was always a target for plunder, and the treasurer, knowing the raiders were approaching, would try to hide the money. Besides the county money being stored in the safe, there were several purses there as well. When Morgan asked about the purses, he was told they belonged to local widows, with Morgan responding, that he never robbed from a widow. Another Morgan story has to do with the local Masonic jewels. The Versailles Lodge No. 7 was located on the second floor of a brick building located on the southwest corner of the town square. One of Morgan's soldiers made off with the silver officer's jewels. When Morgan, himself a Mason, heard that of this, he made the soldier return the jewels to the lodge hall. There are several other stories of how local Masons were given special treatment by Morgan. By 4 p.m., with Hobson still in pursuit, the Raiders left town. They would then travel on into Ohio, where many of those left would be captured. Morgan and his officers were imprisoned, but from which they later escaped. One year later, in Tennessee, Morgan was killed while trying to escape from Union soldiers. What Morgan was doing in Indiana and Ohio is not known for sure. We do know that he was ordered not to cross the Ohio River. Morgan's Great Raid is an historic event that Versailles commemorates but does not celebrate as part of its bicentennial. This video was made possible by the Ross's Run chapter of the Daughters of the American Revolution. Thank you for your support.